So this is the uh, f rigid function that I defined earlier that transforms a set of input points to create a set of output points. So let me run this. And you can see that it um, prints the parameters at each iteration. So these were the initial parameters that I provided. This is the these are the parameters after the first iteration, second, and third. So after three iterations, um, the parameters are not changing any longer, so the algorithm stops. And this uh, is just one more thing to just apply the uh, derived transformation parameters to the image using um, MATLAB's IM transform function. And I'll create the transform using MATLAB's make T form function. Here's the matrix, the 2D uh, rigid transformation matrix. And MATLAB wants this, uh, this matrix actually transposed. I believe it does a, probably does a post multiplication instead of a pre multiplication. So let me go ahead and run that. Oops, did I save that? Whoops, I, I put it on the wrong one. Should be down here. Okay, so this is the final transformed image one or image A that matches image B. Finally, I um, want to say that there's another way to compute the Jacobian instead of doing these derivatives by hand, and that's to estimate them numerically. So this is an easier way, you know, to do it, but it of course requires more computation. It uses the uh, numerical approximation to a derivative, which is you take a function, you add a tiny amount to the parameter, and you take the difference and divide by that tiny amount. So in MATLAB, that's very easy to do. Um, we just fill in each row, I'm sorry, each column of the matrix um, would represent the deviation um, of that element. So what this is, is we're taking the function, we're adding a tiny amount to the first dimension, subtracting off um, the value without the uh, perturbation, and dividing by E. So let me, let me just replace this code um, here. So I'm going to comment out this and add this. And I'll go ahead and run that same program. And we get the same result. I think the, you know, the values here that it found were identical.